many of us are fiercely trying to keep our healthy New Year resolutions and panto stars of Wolverhampton Grand Theatre are no different. X Factor singing sensation Nikki Evans is helping cast and backstage crew members to get into shape. The 40 year old has lost around three stone in weight since last February after taking up skipping for her role in Legally Blonde. We do Fat Club in between Panto, which we started. Um, so yeah, so we start with skipping, then we do an aerobics class, then we do a firming class, then we go back to skipping. The more you go in, you work your legs. We skip, and then you can feel your heartbeat, and then we go into eight, eight on each leg. And then sevens, then sixes, and fives, and fours. And then, and then we do the reaches. And then we do the lunges. Nikki runs Fat Club every day stretching. in between shows except for Monday. And then we go to a big stretch. For about two or three weeks, I could do about four songs together. And then, uh, but you just have to keep going. And the, the key is, even if you hit yourself with it, just to keep going and then keep going in. I think what people think is when you're skipping, you have to jump three metres in the air, just like you was. <laughs> but if you think how big that is, you literally only have to bounce over it. Forty minutes is certainly for those with a high fitness level. I could only manage three. So if, like me, you haven't skipped since you were in the playground, <laughs> then Nikki suggests starting off with a few minutes and building up each week. If you do between 15 and 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes of skipping is the equivalent of 30 minutes running. So this is, this is just between skipping, I do this. Actually, when I've got my costume on, I'm like, one, two, it's boring otherwise. I have to like get myself into it. And keeping motivated is the hardest part. My dad got diabetes, my mum got diabetes, and then I was reading all the things about how big you have to be around the waist to, you know, because, you know, if they've both got them, then it's, it's a good job that I'm going to get it. So I'm fighting that at the moment because I don't want to get, I'm petrified of needles, basically, and I have to see them, you know, inject themselves every day, and it was just, it's horrible. So I kind of keep that in my head. So if I had advice to give anyone, it's just be happy with who you are and what you are, as long as you're healthy. That's all that counts.